I'll be showing you how you can install and uninstall the Refine Boot Manager in Windows. Refine is a simple and easy to use boot manager that works great with Windows, Linux, Unix, and Mac. I'm currently running a dual boot with Windows and Debian using the Grub Boot Manager, and I'll be setting up Refine in Windows. So I'm in Windows and I'm gonna open up a browser and I'm gonna search for a Refine download. And I'm gonna to go to the first link at SourceForge and I'm gonna download it. Once downloaded, go to your downloads folder and then extract it. And once extracted, go into the folder and then go into the refine directory. And you'll see here that there are three directories for the drivers, three directories for the tools, and then the refine EFI boot files. And what you can do is you can remove the ones that you don't need, depending on your architecture. For example, in my case, I have a 64-bit system here. And so I'll just need the files and directories related to x64. So I'm going to be removing these two directories. And these two directories, the tools directories. And I'll be removing these two files. And then the refine.conf-sample file, I am going to be renaming it and removing the dash sample. Yes. Next, open up a command prompt as administrator. And I'm going to be installing Refine into the existing EFI partition, which is the most common scenario. So I'm going to mount the EFI partition, mount vol, and then I'm going to be mounting it to the Z drive, and then forward slash S, and then going into the Z drive, and we see that it's been mounted. And now I'm going to go back to the C drive, and then I'm going to go into the refine directory. And I'm going to go into the parent, dir. And now I'm going to copy the refine directory to the EFI partition. All right, it has completed. Next, I'll need to change the BCD entry so then it loads refined. And before doing that, I'm just going to make a backup copy. I'm going to CD out, CD out again, and I'm in my downloads folder. And I do a BCD edit or slash enum firmware. I have all my entries here. And at the top there, there's the boot manager. It's going to be booting Windows, which is what we're going to change. But first, I'm going to make a backup of this. BCD edit export. We'll call it BCD backup dot BCD. DIR. And we see that it's there. And I'll make a copy of the BCD edit output to a file. DIR. Okay, and so we see the files there. And now I'm going to change the boot manager entry using BCD edit. BCD edit for slash set and then boot manager and then the path will be to the refine x64 EFI boot file. And I'm also going to change the description. And I'll change it to refine. And I'll do a BCD edit enum firmware. And we see at the top that it has been changed, the path and the description. So that's good. And now I'm going to reboot my computer and go into the BIOS. All right, so my boot options here, first is Debian, so we'll boot into Grub, 
Second is the Windows Boot Manager. And third is Refine. It's just added in. So I'm going to change it so Refine is first. And now Save Changes and Exit. All right, Refine comes up and I have Windows here. The next option is to boot the fallback bootloader, which would just basically boot up Refine again. This will boot the VM Linus image. And then finally, this option will boot Grub. And then go down. And this would go into my BIOS. And this would reboot my computer. This would shut down my computer. And this is the manage to hidden tags if you want to remove any entries. And this is about refined. This option will go into the mock utility, the machine owner key utility. It's related to secure boot. And this option will do the same. And this option will go into the UFI shell. And going back up. And for example, if I want to remove entries from here, from view, I can select it. So for example, if I want to remove this entry here, just hit delete. Do I want to hide it? Yes. And I can remove this entry here. I can hide it, delete, yes. And I can go down to manage hidden tags menu. And here I can restore any hidden entries. So for example, this entry, and it comes back. So now I'm going to boot back into Windows. And I'm back in Windows. And if I want to remove or uninstall Refind, open up a command prompt as administrator. And I'm going to mount the EFI partition again. I'm going to go into the Z drive. Go into the EFI directory. And then there's the refine directory and I'm going to remove it. Yes, DIR. So it's been removed. And the last thing to do is to change back the BCD entry. And we see here the boot manager entry. And then, so I'm going to change this. So it's going to be Windows again. BCD edit, set, boot manager. And then the path, EFI, Microsoft, boot, boot, mgfw.efi. And change the description. In a Windows Boot Manager. And then if I run a BCD Edit Enum firmware again, scroll up, and we see it's been changed. And so now it has been removed, and it should boot back into Grub. But I'm going to go back into the BIOS just to confirm. All right, the Windows Boot Manager is first, and Debian is second. But if I want to go back into Grub, I'm going to have to have Debian first, so I'm going to change that and save changes and exit. All right, Grub comes back up and I got Debian and I got Windows. So I'm going to go into Windows. All right, so I'm back at the login screen. So that's it. That's how you can install and uninstall the Refine Boot Manager in Windows. I hope this video was useful and I thank you for watching. Bye now.